Good evening. I'm gonna try to make this video quick because it's 101.3 degrees in here. <laughs> there you go. Um, <clears throat> I have been thinking about making this video for a little while now. It's, <clears throat> I've noticed that my, how I order things at restaurants and ca coffee shops and cafes has been different. I think about different things and in the US in English when you go to some place and order something it's very common for you to say can I have a burrito or you know can I have a um, you know cappuccino can I have can I have it's just it's just normal When I went abroad and started learning new languages and speaking in different languages and ordering things in different languages, I realized that <clears throat> the English translation of can I have doesn't really work. It's not normal in other countries. For example, in Spanish, you would say, I would like, or I want, you know, me gustaría, or quiero. And similarly in French, you know, you would say, voudrais, voudrais. <laughs> my, I'm, I'm learning Spanish, so my R's are currently a um, And there was one other, I think in, in Indonesian, I don't remember now, but I think in Indonesian and Japanese, it's, it's similar, but it's like in other languages, you're more direct. It's like, I want a coffee or I want a burrito or I would like a burrito. And that tripped me up. I, I did I make a video about this? I, I feel like I made a video about this when I was in Europe or I might have, I might have journaled about this. Anyway, <clears throat> it tripped me up because I was so used to saying, can I have, but it, it like doesn't translate or like you just, nobody says, can I have in Spanish or French or like whatever, insert language. So anyway, after nine months abroad, I came back to the US and I noticed that I was more direct when I was ordering and I like it. Now, you know, 80% of the time when I go up and order something, I'll, I say either I'd like a coffee, you know, I'd like an espresso or I'll have an espresso. And I mean, I follow up with please, obviously, but it's just interesting that, that this is a thing, you know, how often do you think about the, f the, the types of, I just had this thought, it was like, how often do you think about the words that you say and how you say them? And I don't know. I don't, I don't know that I can formulate the thought that I just had. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that and document it, that that's one thing that I've learned. One concrete thing that has changed since my trip abroad for nine months learning other languages, learning other cultures and experiences and countries. And I, I, I think about it every time I order. And I also think about it when I hear other people order here in the U S I hear people say, Oh, can I have a sandwich? And it's like, why do we say that? <laughs> like, yes, of course you can have this, a sandwich. 
but you're not asking can I have a sandwich you're ask you're you're saying I would like a sandwich right so anyway it's just it's just different and I'm not saying one's good or bad but um I like I think I like the change of being more direct it's, it's interesting And that's all I have to say today. I'm going to make some food. See you tomorrow.